welcome to yet another wonderful session on your favorite YouTube channel Bhanzu and we are here with a brand new series called Math Quiz and today we are taking up for grade 6. So grade 8, grade 7 was already done on Monday and Tuesday respectively. So today we are going to cater to all the students from grade, go, who are going from grade 5th to grade 6th. So first of all, welcome to Bhanzu. I hope all of you had an amazing day. This is your educator, Hari Priya. Please do not forget to like this video. Share this video with every school going student uh, because this channel is really, really helpful, especially when it comes to math. We will make sure that it is fun and interactive learning. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon because whenever we post any videos or whenever we go live right now we are live you can always get notified and also comment below and let me know what kind of math videos would you want to see on this channel right so let us jump into the concept so today's course uh, today's sessions actually uh, called as bridge course why because i want to show you the insights of what all you will be learning in your grade six so starting with knowing your numbers whole numbers playing with numbers geometry understanding elementary shapes integers fractions decimals data handling mensuration algebra ratio proportion symmetry and practical geometry so when you have a closer look at all of these concepts there's a lot to do with numbers, hey na? knowing your numbers, whole numbers, integers, fractions, decimals and all of this comes under number and there's a lot of geometry involved as well. Now I would like to start the session with a question. How would the world look like with no numbers at all? Imagine you're getting up in the morning and your alarm clock has no numbers. How would you know what time of the day it is? Or imagine you're cooking something really special. Now, where are the numbers? There's no numbers, no? It'll be like, take eggs, add cup of floors. How many cups? How many eggs? So when you actually look around you, there are so many places that we use maths. Actually, literally every time, everything that we do in our everyday life is just revolving around maths right so why numbers why do we need numbers to represent and count objects to measure quantities to compare and arrange in order suppose if i give you uh, five students and if i ask you to tell me their shoe size so you will first arrange them according to their shoe sizes from the small to big in ascending order or descending order and then you will give me a number so everything that you do starting from cooking to rocket making as i say there is maths all around us so that's why numbers are super duper important now in grade 5 you have learned a lot of basic concepts like addition subtraction multiplication a little of division here and there as well and a lot of story based math right so today we're going to quickly brush through all of that and do some amazing puzzles as well so let us get started so the first question guys is on your screens an aeroplane travels faster at the speed or 40 kilometers in one hour so there's this super fast aeroplane which travels 40 kilometers in one hour all right so what is that we have to find we have to find how far would the motorboats go in five and a half hours so now in one hour it is traveling 40 kilometers now for how many hours do we want we want it for five and a half hours now what is this five and a half so when you look at it very closely there's something called fractions involved here holes and parts that you have learned in your grade five and we're going to learn in detail about this in our grade six so i am also i can also write five one by two as eleven by two Hannah. so how did you do that we're going to learn and answer all of that under math quest series for grade six so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so now for one hour it's taking 40 kilometers so in 11 by 2 hours 
how much distance will it travel so it will be 40 divided by 1 so as you move towards the left you divide as you come down you multiply so 40 divided by 1 multiplied by 11 by 2 2 into 1 2 into 20 so 20 into 11 is going to give you 220 kilometers so in five and a half hours it is ready to travel 220 kilometers now what about the next question the next question is how much time will it take to go 25 kilometers now the relation you will have to change now what is given your distance is given that it travels 25 kilometers Sorry, it travels, sorry, it, it is given that it travels, just a minute, the eraser is just too hard here. Huh. So it is given that 40 kilometers it can travel in one hour. But how many kilometers do we want it to travel? Just 25 kilometers. So how would we calculate one as you move towards your left, you divide. This is unitary method. 1 by 40 as you come down you multiply multiplied with 25 you can use your 5 table 5 into 5 5 into 8 so it takes 5 by 8 hours to travel 25 kilometers all right so there's something called unitary method where they will give you one unit ka value and you'll have to find out for x amount of units or they will give you for x amount of units they'll give you the value you will have to find for one unit a unit one unit that's why it's called as a unitary method which we will dive deep into and the and the amazing part of this about this unitary method is you don't have to remember formulas once you understand your unitary method how we will learn that don't worry now there's this beautiful tiles marble uh, uh, tile flooring that you can see now the first question to you guys here is how many tiles have have been used here so i'm going to quickly see your uh, live chat here so what do you guys think how many tiles can you see here can someone quickly answer this how many tiles can you see awesome as you can see there are one two three four five six seven eight nine tiles are there right now what is happening if the area of one tile is eight centimeters square one tile is eight centimeters square the area of a unit tile is given now we want to find out the area of the entire region the entire region is covered with nine tiles. You know? So what would be the total area? Nine multiplied with eight. Now in our Bhanzu curriculum, so like just like the NCRT curriculum, we also have a Bhanzu curriculum where we make math an easy peasy subject for all of us. We learn math in a very different way. How? I'm going to tell you very soon. Now, what comes next? Can somebody quickly tell me in the chat box what is coming next in the series? Hurry up, hurry up. All right. All very easy. We are like, ma'am, what is this? We have already done. So, first this A will come and then B will come. What about this? Snail and a fish. Snail and a fish. Snail and a fish. So, first B will come and then your snail will come. So all of these concepts is something that you've already learned in your grade 5th, right? So replace the question mark here. So what is the pattern that you're seeing? There's a purple rectangle which is vertically standing and there is a horizontal brown rectangle. A vertical purple rectangle, horizontal brown rectangle, vertical purple rectangle, horizontal brown rectangle and so on. So what would replace the question mark here? There would be a horizontal brown rectangle and what about this yellow blue yellow blue yellow blue so what is that we have here we'll have a yellow rhombus this is in the shape of a rhombus all right 
and then comes the graphical method that we have seen so here as you can see it's a it's called as a bar graph where you have your y axis and your x axis so on the y axis the votes for each fruit is given and the height of these rectangular bars is actually called as the frequency you will be learning all of that in our chapter data handling now which fruit got the most votes now whose length is the biggest as you can see the banana's length is the biggest eight votes have gone for banana so which fruit is has the most votes it is banana right and how many uh, more votes did plums get than peaches how many more votes than plum get than peaches so peaches have five votes and this is the plum i hope yeah this is the plum and plum also got five votes so is there anything more that plum has got no so the answer would be just zero how many more, how many more votes did grapes get than oranges grape has six votes oranges has only two votes so how many more votes did the grapes get you're going to subtract them so grapes has got four more votes than the oranges how many less votes did pear get than bananas what is a pear five bananas eight so how many less three less bananas got twice as many votes as apples is that true apples got 4 it has bananas got 8 so the answer is yes that's true grapes got twice as many votes as oranges grapes got 6 oranges got 2 is it twice no it is thrice because 2 multiplied with 3 is giving you 6 and then we have few addition questions Now if you're watching a recorded version of this video I want you guys to pause the video open your uh, not calculator stopwatch and tell me if you can answer each of these within 30 seconds I'm going to give do one here 20 10 30 40 41 44, 44, 44 and 6 50 There you go within 30 seconds I've solved this question So if you also want to learn how did I do that So let me do one more. Zero, twenty, seventy, ninety, ninety-nine, ninety-nine plus three is going to give you one, not two. How did I do this? And where did ninety-nine come from? So if you also want to learn this Banzu's way of addition, do not forget to book a free class right now. You can learn all the tricks that we have. Uh, in our uh, Banzu curriculum, you can see there. See that nowhere. I guarantee you this. no youtube trick will actually uh, be helpful the method that we do the method in which we do our addition we do our multiplication subtraction and division you will find it nowhere else that's my guarantee book a free demo right now and you will know what i'm talking about how can you book a free demo the link is there in the description box all you have to do is click on that enroll our team will reach out to you and you can actually experience the power of mathematics the magic that mathematics has all around us the next class we're going to start off with a new chapter that is the first chapter of your grade 6 knowing your numbers where we will be talking about a quick introduction then how do we compare numbers what are large numbers and systems of numeration what is indian system of numeration what is international system of numeration we're going to learn all of that in our next class so do not forget to like this video share this video with every 6th grader 7th and 8th grader because we are going to cater to all the three grades and we'll also soon start 9th and 10th as well comment below and let me know what kind of videos do you want to watch on this channel and we'll definitely bring all of that up do not forget to subscribe to the channel and show us some love thank you so much guys you people were wonderful in today's class do not forget to share your thoughts in the comment section i'll try to reply not try i will definitely reply to each and every comment under this video so i'm going to see you again 
in the next class until then keep smiling this is your educator hari priya signing off